What's up, y'all? It's the Thundercat here again. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the whole get Trump narrative. Let's burn him down. We got to destroy Trump. He's evil. Terrible. <laughs> so this is what our uh, atmosphere is now these days. It's get Trump. Destroy, destroy Donald Trump at, at all costs. Let's make sure we also take his supporters down, too, because they're racist they're Nazis. They're complete pieces of crap. We have to destroy them too. Even though they probably represent, uh, they we know they represent at least uh, the slight majority of voters. Um, because there's a whole third of the country that didn't even bother to leave the house on election day. So what's going on now is we have people like Rachel Maddow that are willing to completely make shit up to try to enforce their get Trump narrative. I mean, she is, there's tons of videos out there. Uh, I don't really, I mean, if you think I'm full of shit, whatever, but there's plenty of videos. Uh, there's a guy who I love. He doesn't have a ton of followers, but man, I've discovered his channel and he does a great job at picking these people apart. Uh, he has a channel called The Hard Bastard. And he's got a great one on just several on destroying Rachel Maddow and just exposing the bullshit. I mean, they're, she's willing to go so far out on a limb to try to somehow connect Russia to Donald Trump and, and some kind of... Well, first of all, there is no proof that Russia had anything to do with hacking our election... Obama said it, CIA came out and said it, but people are still running with it. They refuse to let it go. It has to be Russia. There's no other thing. It couldn't be that people wanted something else. I mean, just to put the record straight, Trump got my vote because I knew, especially with, I knew before, I didn't have to read the WikiLeaks stuff, but I knew for a fact that Hillary Clinton was the most corrupt candidate ever. She's easily the most corrupt politician ever. I know it. Other people know it. Hell, people, Democrats that had their head screwed on halfway straight, they knew it. But still, we got to destroy Donald Trump. I mean, that's why they did it. They knew that their candidate was so bad that the only way that they could put a complete distaste for Trump in their mouth was to make sure that people thought he was fucking racist. Which, by the way, is the most intellectually dishonest thing you can do. Maybe did he say things that could have been spun, like the, oh, Mexico's not sending us our best. They're sending us rapists and murderers. Well, yeah, they are. They're, in fact, they happen to not be Mexican, most of them. A lot of them are coming from El Salvador or somewhere else, south of Mexico, which is why Mexico has a fucking wall there. So now people are going, Trump is racist because he wants to ban Muslims. He's banning them. Uh, well, no, first of all, stupid, it's not a Muslim ban. There is no Muslim ban. He's banning nationals from other countries who are known to harbor terrorists or to send terrorists out of their country. If there's gasoline pouring out a hose, you turn off the valve. Stop the gasoline from flowing. That way you don't have something blow up. That's what he's doing. He's doing he's only following up on a policy that 
Obama laid back in 2015. Look it up. I don't need to put links in my description because if you think I'm full of shit, look it up for yourself. Do some research. Then come prove that I'm full of shit. Good luck, though. Anyway, Obama signed this visa waiver program that outlined the countries that Trump has already laid out. Trump's just following out on all of Obama's original plan. He's just taking the next step. Obama said these are the countries, the seven countries. These are the countries that got terrorists. Trump said, okay, those are the countries. Let's shut them down for a little while, a little while, until we can figure out how to properly vet these people. And we want the people who want to be Americans. Yeah, we want them here. It's the other part that we don't want. The people that want to enforce Sharia law. We don't want those. But, you know, if you say that, you're fucking racist. Like Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks said, she's better than you and she knows it. Because if you think, if you agree with Trump in any kind of way, you're a piece of shit. And I'm tired of this narrative. In fact, their narrative has gone so far that at the Women's March, they lit this Trump supporter's hair on fire. Maybe that was one isolated incident, but isn't lighting somebody on fire like... That's one too many. Maybe. Just maybe. She had a Trump hat on and they lit her hair on fire. This is the whole thing. And it's not just a destroy Trump thing. Now it's destroy white people too. White people have to go. Which is really funny to me because most of these people that say that are clearly middle class white kids. Privileged white kids. <laughs> I mean, uh, how how far do we have to go? What does it take? What what else do we need to do to destroy, to force our narrative, to make sure that anybody that agrees with Trump is bad? Trump's bad. You're bad. You're a racist because you support Trump's immigration policies. Now, to put the record straight. Most things besides the Second Amendment and uh, thinking that America's awesome, I think most of what America do has done is great stuff. We're a beacon. We're a beacon of freedom. The freedoms that we still have, by the way. You know, besides that, I'm pretty liberal. I mean, if, that, if liking the Second Amendment and liking my country makes me conservative, I guess color me conservative, but... Pretty much everything else I'm pretty liberal on. So, you know, that's why Trump got, got my vote because there was nobody else. I couldn't go with Bernie Sanders because personally I believe that socialism doesn't work. I've seen enough and I think it's dangerous. And why in the hell would I want to give the government more power over our money? Hell with that. So anyway, Trump got my vote and I guess color me racist because I voted for him. Now, do I support everything he does? No. But most of the things that he's done up to this point, there's a few things that I disagree with, but most of the things he's following through with his campaign policies. Now, the build the wall thing? Eh. Eh, whatever. I get the psychology of why there should be a wall there. I mean, shouldn't there be something so that we can make sure that our country is sovereign? Now, people aren't just walking back and forth of, you know, over the border. And by the way, it's not just people coming from the south to the north. We have criminals going over there. And they don't like it either. But we're racist if we want a wall, right? Destroy Trump. Get his supporters. Ruin them all. They're Nazis. Which, that's ridiculous too. That's incredibly intellectually lazy. Just to say Nazi. I mean, last time I checked, the Nazi party hasn't really been around since before 1950. So why are we still saying Nazi? Why? Why are we still saying racist? Because it's just the most intellectually lazy thing to do. It's easy. Because you can point the finger at somebody. You... Racist, you Nazi. Point the finger at him. 
and just throw out those kind of things. Hell, you can you can even get the get Trump narrative is so strong that if you raise enough hell, you can get somebody fired from their job just for something they said. They said even if they said, "Hey, I like Trump," or they wear a "Make America Great Again" hat to work, or you saw them in their car wearing a "Make America Great" hat, you can get people can get fired. They are getting fired. Let me just put that: they are getting fired. People are getting fired for that kind of thing. Something as simple as that. It's okay to punch somebody now. I see this all over YouTube. There's videos of people saying, if you like Trump or you have anything to do with his policies, you're a racist and you deserve to be punched. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like fascism? Let's incite violence on people that we disagree with. People who are genuinely being peaceful but disagreeing with you. Maybe they're calling you a fucktard or a libtard or whatever, an idiot. Oh, but we have to we have to hit them. It's okay. We've got to fight back and destroy them and push them down. Beat them. That sounds like fascism to me. Think about it. What are we going to do about it? Something has to be done. And I think, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Because I could be just sitting on my couch plucking on my guitar. But I feel like some of this stuff has needs to be said. Even for some of my friends that called me all kinds of shit during the election. Just because I disagreed. Unfriend me, whatever. <laughs> By the way, this whole get Trump thing, it's not just a get Trump deal. It's also get white people. Fuck white people. Which, that relates to the other thing, which is always right behind it. Fuck the military. Fuck cops. That's how they roll. Anybody that gets in our way, disagrees at all, they fuck them. They have to go down. Destroy them. They're evil. Racist. I mean, I don't know how many times I could say that before y'all get irritated with it, but that's it's like they keep beating people over the head with the racist Nazi bullshit. So when you see them saying that stuff, just uh, just tell them to stop. I mean, they have they have freedom of speech just like anybody else, but. It's totally okay to call them stupid. Tell them they're being lazy when they said racist. I was like, lazy. You're not thinking. You're lazy. And I can prove it. And then you start laying facts on them. Because if you don't have anything to argue over Trump's actual policies, then you are being intellectually lazy or dishonest. One of the two. Which one is it? Do you not know? Are you unwilling to do the research? Do you not know what's going on? Or are you just willing to go so far out on a limb to push your narrative? Destroy them. Because you lost the election and now you got to deal with the Trump for at least four years? Come on, man. Stop. Stop with the racist thing. If you want to talk about Trump... Get some facts. Get something solid. Otherwise, you look like a monkey in a cage throwing shit at other monkeys. <laughs> anyway, uh, till later, I'll leave you with that. Thundercat out.